the shoe always here. I even wrote the song and all the time we shared. And if I'm you can't here. say love, Justice. we'll prevail. And even love will overcome. And all the evil will fail. And, and if I'm you here. can't say love, the shoe always here. I yeah. even wrote the song. Got it. What up? <laughs> you. Yo. What's up, guys? Just want to, um, first things first, I want to say thank you for everything and the support and we're, we're, we're all big fans. So I just want to thank you guys for this opportunity to do this project with you guys. So thank you again. Man, thank you. I mean, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's only traditionally right, you know, and we're going to obviously tap into that whole thing but yeah no thank you man big time we love it we love it thank you so much it's awesome yeah it's it's uh i think for us it's it's um i think it's a mutual respect appreciation and and thanking you guys as well um you know how long, wait, how long have we known? How long have we all been uh, knowing each other? <laughs> it's, I, think, I mean. Uh, probably from 2000. Because, wait, information was founded in 2002. Two, the company, yeah. but we've known each other from before that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'm just thankful for, first and foremost, I'm just thankful for the friendship. You, you know, just, just knowing that cats like y'all like have been representing, you know, the island and the culture as well as, you know, um, hip hop, skateboarding. Right. Lifestyle, like the lifestyle that we all grew up on. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. exact, like there's a, that's a perfect match. We grew up in SoCal with the, the same, same similar loves of so much, not just right. hip hop either. Like, punk rock too and, and yeah all that man like exactly. we're culturally like yeah there's 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 just a, a there's a reason why we have this synergy and, and friendship for for so long i think you know what i mean i, I don't know it's, i also uh, gotta bring this up is i gotta i got to meet you guys because blaze and excel them brought you guys to hawaii you know when blaze started promoting and after that, Blaze and I got together and did stuff, you know, and and then it just became a small circle after that. So it was awesome. Yeah, big up Blaze. Right, yeah. right. Architects, big up yeah. to Bell, big up to Excel. Yeah, Libby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go Go Fu Libby. Libby. yeah. Yeah, Fu Manchu. Yeah, man, and Club Aqua. Dude. Hey, yeah. I still think of it. Is that the trip where I want I wound up staying an extra like almost a month? I think it was like three, just under a month. <laughs> that that was incredible. I love man. I got trapped. Uh, that was oh a great God. time. James, that was James goes to Hawaii and he he's like, I'm gonna just kick it here. <laughs> and we're like, as much as we would all like obviously do that, he did it. He's a doer, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like when you come in, I don't know, man. I'm I'm recording what size one. I'm doing, you know, I'm like, of course. Oh my god. Of course. Yeah, that was rad. Great times. Yeah. Word up, man. Hey, and by the way, uh, got the shirts. Incredible. The they just they look right. Um, beautiful. It's like I was really reluctant to even like. Do I mean like, I want to like frame one like a jersey. Like I'm I've already worn the tank that the the. The Jersey yeah. jersey is fly as shit, but, man, yeah, dude, I just – I'm really stoked, man. Frame a couple of a bunch more – like, you know, man, you, you could frame a couple, but you got you got to rock them too. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Break in <laughs> case of emergency. <laughs> yeah. I know Word Danny up. just called me today like, oh, my gosh, dude, oh, my gosh. Like, all the, all the packages were landing. And he's like, dude <laughs> – Man, like everyone's so excited seeing that. Like when it came to my door, I didn't even realize. Like the boxes came, I was like, "Oh no!" And then opened it, and the kids were like, "Oh, look. they're all screaming!" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like look, it, it's all cool. Like people don't, people don't even know, but yeah, so exciting. No, it's gonna be 
good. So I, I just, I don't know. I just freaking out in a way that we get to do this with you guys. So just big fans, you know, and I get to talk to you guys now. So I don't know. I just want to keep everything humble and, and grateful, you know? Yeah. But let's get rich. No, I'm just <laughs> With all that aside, let's blow up on this. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. But yeah, I'm so that, humble. That, that brings back um, to like how I met Jonas and LRG. And it's it's because of all of the stuff we're all involved with, you know, and then I know that um, he's done because I remember when because I worked with him since 99 when they kind of launched. Uh, they launched in 98, I believe. But, um, but yeah, I got to meet him from um, Shortcut. Shortcut mm. introduced me to Jonas. And then in 99, when the ITF came to Hawaii, everyone came to Hawaii and I took care of him, you know, and, and Ruth and Ruth. Who else there? Yeah. Ooh, wee. <laughs> that was yeah. Had, Baby Ruth. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. But, Great time. You no, know, like I asked him, yeah, I wanna I'm down for what you guys are doing. I wanna help out. And he gave me the chance. And then I like that's how I got to really meet Key because I was working for LRG already. Right, Key? When I, I saw I, you. I got your first I got your first card. You're like, hey, 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 hey. And then you give me your I I I even here, I found that yeah. card. Um, yeah. The, that first OG, like yellow, yellow uh, card. Yeah the, had. yeah, the yellow one. Yeah, that's how I first met you. Were like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, the LRG rep for, uh, for Jonas. And yeah, that's how, that's when we first met back then. Yeah, for sure, that, that was it. And you know, uh, yeah, the way I met Jonas was because, well, obviously James is is got like you know childhood met Jonas, but I'm saying. <laughs> When I met him was right. um, uh, I bought a shirt in Melrose because James was like, "Oh yeah, this LRG, this is my homie from Long Beach, you know, like in the, from the hood, you know, like." And so I bought a shirt, and I was just at a spot, and and yeah, and, and he saw me wearing, it and like, "Where'd you get that?" And I told him where I bought it, and I was like, "Well, I don't." He's like, "Why'd you? What made you buy it?" And I'm like, "Well, uh, Elemental." He's like, "James, get out!" And then I immediately yeah. we, you know it was just like come through and come through to that original office in, in Santa Ana with, with him and Ruth just working that little small little office with just one little storage room in the back with with their yeah. first their first iteration of stuff you know and and with yeah, Mikey cool. Mikey Vince and Todd like those are the and Zach uh, Zach Mandelstein, yeah. Right, right, the OG crew, yeah. right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. I, yes. I randomly ran into Todd at Costco. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, and he's like, what's up with James? Oh, man, what's up? Yeah. Dude, we, <laughs> I hadn't seen that guy for, like, how long? And we just, we looked at each other. During the pandemic with masks on, we looked at each other, we're like... <laughs> And I was like, and he pulled wow. it in, like, yo, it's Todd, yeah. But James, I mean, yeah, brother, like, I mean, look at the shirt that Todd's wearing right now. That's like, that's that, that's that. Wait, wait, let me see I was just wearing that yesterday. Actually. Let me see the back. Crazy. Hold on, show me the back of the shirt. I was just rocking that yesterday, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you got that shirt, you know you're OG. <laughs> Because yeah. Todd yeah. made those and sent them just to the the ones I knew. Yeah, man, James. I mean, Jonas is. I mean, obviously, our, our my connection with Jonas is through James. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just. No, I just. I wish like all his family and friends are okay, and I really thank him for everything that I've learned because it it taught me a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he definitely he he trailblazed more than 
I mean, just even with like, you know, he, he embodied the humbleness, but he also had that cutthroat, like his aspiration. Like, I'll never forget when like, he's like, man, I'm just here to take out Mark Echo. And I remember <laughs> thinking like, damn, yeah. like, that, that was bitching, you know, it was like, cause you know, that'd be like me saying, you know, oh, I'm here to take out Karis one or, you know, yeah. someone of, of stature, you know what I mean? And, right. and like, so to know this kid from literally as a kid to like grow. Yeah. How, how'd you first meet Jonas? What, what, what was well, that like? Uh, just living across the street from when uh, my parents moved to uh, on a street called Pacific, this baller ass neighborhood too. Like house. just, yeah, it was super awkward. Like, what are we doing here? Like, I love you that know, house, man. I wish that was my house now. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a bitching house. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, and like I was just skating in the driveway um, day in, day out. And finally, uh, this fucking little Grom comes out the house. It's like, <laughs> hey, can I join you? Nice. <laughs> I was like, all right, I guess, you know. And like, I'm not like super good or anything, but like, <laughs> it, it was like the perfect, like, like miniature half pipe driveway. Like you could catch coping on like, or, you know, grind on the, like, it was just bitching. It was, it was right. rad. It was just like style. And, um, you know, and then I'd be playing music out there and he's like, Oh, what is this? And, and also I was, uh, at the time involved with DJ speed from NWA. So, wow. um, he was coming to the house like every day in easy E's, uh, Aerostar van uh thumping like you could literally hear him like from long beach <laughs> boulevard coming all the way down and like you know in the neighborhood that it was in they hated it they're like super like old oil money type of people you know hey country club ass people and uh wow but yeah dude that was that was uh the beginning and and um and jonas's parents uh adopted parents they uh they were amazing they were super cool um to this day super cool uh his his older brother which is their birth birth son mm -hmm. uh he was he was rad he was always cool and you know they they were never like oh you know don't hang out with him because he likes rap or he you know that we might even been smoking weed out on the front porch or yeah. you know yeah. just like early on the whole lifestyle thing and and uh and you know he yeah like yeah, like basically, uh, I just to this day still super proud of everything. Uh, you know, he came from so much love and he spread so much love, like made sure a lot of people did good, you know, and 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 was very like just the ultimate giver, you know, like like, you know, you got the givers and takers, you know, and and he definitely was a giver, you know, and, and yeah the more corporate they got, like, obviously, you know, like I would consider, uh, like, you know, like Robert definitely had a whole different approach, you know, like, like they used to get in arguments about like, yo, you can't give away so much shit. Jonas would just like argue to the T like, no, we do have to like, and then look what it happened, you know, look what came out of it. Like, I think the first year or like not the first year, but like, progressively like let's just say a couple years in they had the incredible promo budget like 150k or something like that mm -hmm. i just remember robert just losing his shit and then his brother <laughs> even coming in and just they would just argue 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 but the point being is that jonas just wanted to see you know like he knew that it would you know again we all grew up on the uh it takes money to make money so right. to him, that wasn't really an obstacle. And he just, he always have fun. Um, yeah, it was, it was rad, dude. Real, real. I miss him to this day, man. Like I, I literally think about him all the time. Like, like he was really a great dude, man. And I, I hate even saying was, you know, cause like, yeah. I'd like to, I, I like to think that so many people are still embodied, you know, his spirit, if you will. So yeah, for what, what he's done and what the whole team that he built, it was phenomenal. And I, I'm super stoked. I got to be a part of it. That is rad. While, while I was there and 
super appreciative for everything that's yeah and i can't take things like for granted and yeah i want to thank them robert jonas and the team yeah. and yeah oh yeah yeah the fact that even uh kevin is back there is rad like yeah i saw you that. know yeah because i mean there was there was a shaky moment even before jonas left us uh there was a moment in time where I just, I was like, come on, man. Like <laughs> we, what are we doing here? You know, like mm -hmm. in terms of like the approach and this, but it had to happen, you know, it had to break through. And I mean, now if you walk into a Macy's and you'll see LRG and just, yeah, it just, it was rad, dude. Like just that progression. And like, he really yeah. made it happen. He really, really made it happen. And obviously the team, he, he, he had, he, how you say, um, he knew good, good and bad character really fast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and even like he would see the good out of bad character too. That was cool about him because there'd be certain cats around that I'm just like, I don't know, dog. And then, but then I let it ride because he, you know, he wouldn't necessarily be, he would never have to stick up for anybody, but he just was like, well, that's him, you know? And I'm like, all right, you're right. You're right. I got mm -hmm. you. And so I, I've, I've always appreciated that about him because he was granted so much love again, back to that whole, you know, he just gave so much love and people, uh, he's magnetic. He's absolutely yeah. magnetic, man. Yeah. We actually have some ill footage from, uh, my KBH homies, uh, doing this mural that, uh, or just earlier, no correlation with, uh, this meeting now, but, I was thinking about that is like, I want the world to see that. Like there's some wow. like killer, killer, killer footage. Key, key, uh, key shot. Was Trevor there too? Trevor key? and, and the homie freaking Brent Matsuno that just passed away from COVID. The homie. Oh my Brent, God. Yeah. He, he, he went to, yeah. So I'm, I'm saying, man, like, and, we got to drop that footage. Yeah, and, and, and obviously freaking Drew, man, like, you know yeah yeah like one of the artists passed you know james's good friend growing up like this is like we didn't want to put it out at the time because of just obvious sensitivities like we're not trying to cap like we've never been a crew that, this is james right. first and foremost this is james's shit and and kbh is the og long beach crew like so for anyone to say on a corporate level or whatever business like they had nothing to do with the the roots of what this was about was strictly love of where Jonas came from, but we held off on it because it felt kind of, how would you say? Right. Just like when anyone, you know, you want to be respectful to the family. And, and it, so anyway, we've kind of like held it off for this whole time. And now that, you know, even actual dudes involved in putting that whole thing together are now passing because of different reasons. It, uh, it only seems right for their legacies and for Jonas's legacy to just show like the amount of artistry and love that was put into it. Just as he would have been like, man, put that shit out. Let people see that. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, There's no monetization. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just purpose. pure art. Like it was never. Yeah, yeah. It was never for that purpose. And yet everyone was doing. Well, not everyone. I'm just saying. We just didn't, you know, the the. We, the, the, the logic behind it was, man, it just should be put out when it, the time is right. And I think it, the time is right. So, yeah, you know, for sure. But I think the thing with Jonas, like, you know, it's funny because it's like people are like with LRG and all that, like if anyone understands the context of what he did was he just was mere, merely a, a a representation of our lifestyles growing up, what we loved, right? What we grew up with, being those skaters, surfers, gangsters, hip hop, yeah. punk rock, like Southern California lifestyle, just like like I say, the reason why we, get, we have so much synergy with kids from Hawaii is the same thing. It's like, we're on that coast, we're laid back, but at the same time, we, we Right. involved in, in in this thriving culture that that's so you know he he was just able to manifest that and present it and it, you know it what it wasn't even like echo to be honest it was a whole different thing no. it represented where we we're from 
and cats like that he grew up with, like our crew, the reason why our music is not like it just it's the soundtrack for what theology clothing was is because, man, one of our founding members, Elemento and Jonas, literally grew up across the street from each other, listening, you know, <laughs> influencing each other and growing together mm -hmm. artistically. And so that's the reason why I like working with, you know, information with, with you, Todd, and with, with, with Ryan and with June and, and, and with, with Keith is like, we're all, you know, we're like-minded individuals. We're humble, you know, you, you know us, we don't, we don't mm -hmm. you know, own horn, but at the same time, we'd like to let people know who's fresh. And, and, and so aligning ourselves with, with you know, y'all and, realizing the connections are deeper than just like oh let's make a let's make a sh let's make a clothing line let's do shit. right you know, like it's not even about that and that, that's why i uh, thank you guys for taking the time to do this as i think a lot of people want to see or know what what's in our heads you know and like for me i i never thought i'd have a store brand that's going to be 20 years you know next next year and I'm super grateful, you know, like it's, it's crazy that I get to still be in Vegas, work on this brand with my, my partners, my best friends and, and still be relevant. I mean, towards the people that we, we have, you know, I, of course I want to expand our marketplace, but it, it happens. It could take another 10 to 20 more years, you know, but I don't expect it to like be like to blow up exponently. Like it, it's, we're going to, we're going to take our time and go at our own pace, you know, and whoever's happy, that's, that's all that we can ask. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing that I've always like kind of, well, the older I get too, and, and as much as the clock keeps ticking and, and, you know, it makes me think is like, golly, to find that happy medium between what you're saying. But then like, I do want to see the fruits of the labor. Like, right. I, you know, like I would love, like, obviously this is uh, inherited by all our children or close relatives, friends, you know, people we love. Um, mm -hmm. But but it would definitely be rad to to see it, you know, I, I guess uh, bloom more so than blow up. Right. Because after the blow up, then it's like now you just your head's ringing. There's shrapnel yeah. everywhere. You know, it's like a mess after the blow up. Whereas like I think if we were able to actually like enjoy the bloom, you know, because like you said, like you put it perfect is like you know, the people that know about it, that's, that's what you do it for. And, and, you know, you have a, a cult following similar to visionaries, how we have a cult following, but mm -hmm. you know, if, if we apply some of that Jonas Bavakwa formula, which is, is yes. like, you know, we want, we want, cause that was another thing he used to always say is like, come on, James keys, like you got to make this happen, bro. And he was always rooting for us. And then I just back him up against the ropes, like, bro, like <laughs> it's going to take time, you know? And it's like, you know, really on some, like, you know, being patient and, um, and also, you know, there's like a certainty that you want to, you know, you just don't want to be caught out there looking stupid. Right. Cause I mean, fame is like, it, it definitely rhymes with lame. So it's like, you know, right. there, there's that balance of like, you know, we're not trying to be these poster childs of anything, but like, like was telling key the other day, like just trip. It's like, we're definitely to those that know a household name, but we're just not famous like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So which, which is dope, you know, to me, that's super dope, but like, there's definitely more work to do. Um, I think this whole uh, epidemic shit has taught all of us, like kind of, you know, how to fire off a little differently and cause it catered to the introvert, right. It kind of, was yeah. like, oh, okay, you know, we could do shit from the crib and we can like, but you know, now it's like, dude, I've never missed shows and doing tours and all that than more than any any time in my whole run right now. Like, mm -hmm. I just can't wait for that. That that's mainly the reason why I got vaccinated was for that 
because you know I don't want to get caught up being able or not being able to do anything because of that. So right, That's yeah, great. dog. No, I'm stoked, man. I'm, I'm the the lineage and the and the lineup is it's yeah, it's a great match, man. You know, and thank you. I think I think it's just the reason why I I, I feel like this collaboration manifested was because of the exact same sentiment we're all talking about right now of we've never, we've always kind of rode like with, like regardless like of what the, the trends were with, you know, social media, whatever people doing, whatever, right. paying attention. We were always just kind of like represented kind of like a mentality and a lifestyle, even though, though we're all different people we all believe in different things, but it's always been a certain value system of disintegrity. Like that's what it is. It's integrity. It's hard to come up fast and keep your integrity, to be honest, in any, in any game, you talk about the business world, you talk about so much else. It's hard to make that right choice and turn down that bullshit or turn down that fast way because there's so much glory and power and temptation in those things. And sometimes right. it's hard to deal with the reality of, oh man, we could have done, like we could have done made a lot of choices. Who knows, right? But we did so, and I'm not saying we're better than anyone or anything. Sometimes we might be dumber than people by making the choices we made. But I think the like-mindedness of, hey, you know what? Um, this is kind of like that, that mom and pop shop on a corner that's gotten way past, like we've been mm -hmm. able to travel the world, be distributed through the world. And yet we're still keeping that same passion and the same love and the same caring for our stuff, for our craft. And at the same time, you deal mm -hmm. with the realities of, of, you know, real world things about taking your children, having the, 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 the household straight and all that. Like, so, you know, it's always a fine line of juggling and balancing. But with that being said, the reason why we trust doing a collaboration and, and we, we want to build with, you know, family basically is because you are family. You know, like when we think about, right. like, look at the logos on the shirts, who designed it? Rich one, like, like. Mm -hmm. And that, that brings up a whole nother thing that I worked right. for him as well. Right. Know? Right. So Melissa, that... remember, James, remember Militia and Force? When Rich was trying to oh, of course. before creative yeah. recreation, like who was yeah. the one repping them in Hawaii? Of course, I was. It wasn't me. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? well, you think about it too. Is like how they say is like, you know, there's a small percentage of people that got on before the internet, and we're part of that percentage. Yeah. So, like we we put in work, we got shit cracking before there was ever that 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 bridge and so that lets you know like do we never have to question our integrity our morals our our nothing like we just gotta now i think from this point on question you know is this a right decision or not you know because right. otherwise yeah like fuck are we even having this conversation for you know what it's not like you're gonna see a, a target collab with a visionary logo in it you know what i mean mm -hmm. like what about <laughs> like, target stealing the hi logo though that's exactly why I said it. That's wow, exactly why what? I said it. I hit Todd up right away. Remember what? that? I was like, yeah. yo, what is good with that? <laughs> what? I literally what? thought it was you guys in Target. And I was like, is this? Yeah, I mean, well, it would if that happened, that'd be all right. But nah, man. I'll be, I'll be honest. Um, we have the we had the trademark and through some something that happened, we as soon as he did that, I checked the status of our trademark and we didn't have it because we forgot to re-pay for the, oh. the re-enlisting. And I'm like, damn it. But we're it's it's back, it's we're gonna get it back, so it's fine. Good. So as soon as that happens, then we'll pursue. But good. Good. But yeah, good. It's, it is what it is. Can't things happen. <laughs> But that's again. That's like we're we're kind of we're uh, we're uh, in a sort of similar situation that we're going to embark in, um, 
And to me, it's just a sign of like the impact that we've had on, on again, like quietly we're impacting major culture, Mm -hmm. you know, and and the fact that we do take, like, if we don't say anything, then they just continuously eat like they're like the mosquitoes I'm, I'm, I'm brushing off right now is like the, the world that we're talking about, the corporate world, they're blood suckers. And, And that's what we're up against. Like, you know, it's not, yeah, it's, it's nothing more than that, man. And, and so, yeah, man, prosperity, bro. Like that's what it's about for sure. God damn. I'm literally getting eaten alive out here. Yeah. This oh is God. horrible. How you say choke mosquitoes. Yeah. Choke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Word. Oh, hey, word. um, I, I hate to cut this off early, but, um, I might, I might have to jump in the house. Um, but hey, I, I I I really am proud of this collaboration. Uh, I'm grateful, and um, man, I just I want to see a 20 plus, you know, like. Thank you. And I, I'm Thank I'm you. stoked for I'm stoked for you and your and your uh, your health redemption and and getting on the road to recovery and and Thank you. can't wait for, can't wait for you to taste that beer. I know, <laughs> man. It's so crazy. Wow. Uh, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Righteous, bro. Well, I love you, Key. Love you, Todd. Love um, you, okay. Love you too, man. Outro. All right, brother. Take care. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah, man. Um, wow. it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, man. Like, really, it's, it's, you know what it is, is, is I think we just got to keep making our stuff for, for the people who understand and, and it's word of the mouth, right? Like I'd rather have right. that, that X amount of loyal, true people that follow that, that, that support because of, mm-hmm. it's not just, you know, you, you could do anything that just gets that hype, right? But it's like, what is it really? Like, right. You know, I, even even in like the sneaker game, right? Like, shoot, I, I I've been around in that scene since the mid '90s or whatever, and it's right. like now people are buying the shoes because they want to resell it. Like, no, like, what about the design? Like, some of the illest designs are like things that people don't really care about. And I'm like, yeah, that's what really mattered to to you as a as a as anything, right? Like, what. What about what that shoe means to you as far as the field? It's not just about, you know, the value of it or the perceived. Yeah, it's, it's should, be, mm-hmm. should be more of them. If you like it, get it. If you get uh, stoked on it, and if you are happy, then buy it, wear it. Right. And that's it. Don't, right. don't hoard it and buy it just to make a... I mean, yeah, for all the guys that's making money, good for them, but... For sure. But yeah, it's, I don't know. I just, everything that I've bought, I've used. Right. I've never, I mean, we had the Nike SB account. We never, I never let any of our employees buy stuff so they can resell it, you know, because right. our customer was number one. And that's, that's yeah. it. Main, right. main thing is let the customer get it. If there's any left over, then yeah, you can buy it. But but that was it. So same mentality, I guess now. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. See, and for us, like to be able to do, to do a collab with you guys, like you guys have done so many like amazing collaborations that like I'm like as a, as a head and like, yeah, of course I know you guys, but as a, just a straight person that loves certain things, I'm like, dude, like that, that Caballero that you guys did with the tearaway, like the, um, yeah, the, yeah, the half the, cab, the, yeah, 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 dude, the half cab and the, that diamond bag that you guys did, you know, and I mean, so many different things. Yeah. The, the, the G Shock watch, the, 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 uh, what is it, what is it called? The, the gunmetal gray, is that, or the gunmetal, what was it called? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, like so many things that you've got. The Battleship Gray. Battleship yeah. Gray, there you go. Battleship Gray. Yeah. Like so many iconic pieces that you guys have done. 
throughout the years, like so, like, I mean, just, just your, I mean, I know it's your 20th anniversary next year, but just your anniversary shirts with all the logos of people you, you work with. And I'm always like, wow, finally, like a visionary's logo is going to be up on one of these, like the 20th anniversary, we're going to make the shirt. Yeah. You know, and that to us is an honor. Like, and I'm like, how come? Like, I know we talked about it years ago. Like, I hey, we should do mm-hmm. like some sort of thing. And we, you know, then we had lunch and we just laughed and we had beers at night. And you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but to know that like, like two Max keeps like told us last night on our call, we, we have a weekly calls. He's like, everyone, like I just talked to Fez one and you know, people under the stairs, rest in peace, double K. Like he was like, He's like, y'all are the last group standing in LA. You know, all the all the other cats from the era of what we all, you know, all our friends, like each group, look it up. Each group, like we're the last group standing. You know what I mean? And I never thought about it that yeah. way. You know, he's like, we're the literally out of that whole scene, the last group standing as a collective unit. And even that's shaky with, with two mixes, you know, health. But still, we're still friends. Mm-hmm. We still make music. We still kick it. We never broke up. Is is what people always thought. Like, no, nah, man, we're all handling life. But we've never. We're fam- You can't break family up. And, and yeah. And when I see y'all, like same thing. You know, I. Keep, same. Ryan, you, you know, we've uh, June. We've all been through so many things together. But at the end of the day, we're still there for each other, and that's why I'm like, it makes sense, man. Like this is like. The group is like, our, our motto is we only mess with people that will mess with us in a positive level. And then yes. when the information came up, everyone was like, finally, yes, of course. Like, yes, everyone's fans, everyone rocks your stuff with pride. And honestly, for us, Hawaii is like, everyone's like, LA is your hometown. And of course, LA and San Diego, but Hawaii is our hometown mm-hmm. as well. Like, literally, Hawaii Tower Records, number mm-hmm. one selling number one selling store in the nation for us out of one wow. store in Hawaii, no other store sold as many units out of one store as, as Hawaii Tower Records did. Right behind that KFC. <laughs> right <laughs> over there. Yeah, we, we looked at the numbers and like, yeah. you know, and the, the people at our distribution company were like, oh man, are, is this a typo? Is there extra zeros on this? <laughs> out of one store, Tower Records Hawaii, they, they were like, this is insane. Like, what did you guys do there? We're like, that's our people, man. Like, you know what I mean? Hey, man, we had a crazy, we had a crazy vinyl following in Hawaii. Cause I would order vinyl from TRC, you right. know, from, from my first rep was Fanatic, Rob. Right. And then, then it was Kiata, Rasco. Right. And then, and then that was, that was it. I'd bring all your guys' stuff in. I'd bring all Thud Rumble, Richie stuff in. Right. Um, then Amir from Fat Beats, I'd bring all their yeah, underground yeah. stuff in. Yeah. And that, that was that just crazy. that was at that was at Borders in White Kelly. So they let me do all that. So I was super happy. And I got to meet all, all the heads in Hawaii. So that's kind of how I got started. Dude, man, you guys were like bringing music into Hawaii and and, and having that, like helping build that scene. Of course, you know, all the DJs there as well. But like to, like I was like in retail in Hawaii. Like, yeah, I remember Borders. I was like, dude, man, like it's so dope to like see your, we go in the store and be like, man, they're up on it and they have, they know their stuff here. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, that's, like I said, man, for us, Hawaii has always been like, you know, it's all, I mean, for me, obviously. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's home away from home. Like it's, it's I, I feel yeah. more at home there than I do at home. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. yeah, but yeah, man. It's, I miss it too, man. <laughs> I do miss right? it. Right. Yeah. Well, we're going to have, we're going to, after, after everything clears up, man, we're all going to just have to meet up out there and, and, and then and, and, uh, get a show off and, and, and uh, you know, do some and stuff. And eat at Helena's. Well, eat at Helena's. <laughs> What's that? Helena's. 
We have to go eat at Helena's. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No doubt. For sure, man. But it's this this collab key. I I thank you so much. It's um. I know it took some time, but now that it's happening, I'm super happy with. I mean, this shirt came out so good. Spells. And I think I know people are gonna flip out when they see it. So. Yeah, man, I'm gonna start revealing some of it. Um, <laughs> when people start seeing it, I think they're just gonna, yeah, obviously, I mean, that's why I've been kind of teasing it, but then as it comes up, I'm gonna start letting people, people see the, the pieces of it. And um, yeah, man, I mean, I think people are up on it. They, they, I think they spotted it in the shot from the top video, but they thought it was a shirt, the jersey and stuff. Mm -hmm. we've been it's, it's coming up on a year since we've been building on this, but once right. again, like we, you know, it's organic. Like we got to make sure we do it right. And when you brought spells in to do like that, for yeah. spells to do that, and, and I was like, oh man, this is like making it. And then you come, the quote. The quote on the back of the shirt that was just did that was like amazing like we never even thought about putting that quote on the shirt before and you pull a <laughs> quote from if you can't say love which is the epitome of like what we us you yes. know what we're about like this is what us the whole crew all of our fam all of our all of our fans the fam the family information family supporters like collectively visionary like all of us together that's exactly what this is man yeah that's exactly made that, and that shirt i think people are gonna be mad the ones that don't get it i'm sorry like the ones that don't are gonna realize that that's a shirt they need to have if they're part of that collect like it's a must have right. like james said it's a framing shirt like he doesn't even want to wear the ones i sent him i sent him a bunch <laughs> and you don't even want to wow. wear it i'm like dude just wear it like we could print more, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like, you know, he, he's so excited about that. Like, so good. That's amazing. So good. And I, I think um, this day and age when we obviously know there's so much going on, so much. And, and there's so much to be upset about. There's so much to be sad about. There's so much to be, you know, angry about. And, and mm -hmm. there's so much to be worried about. At the end of the day, like, you know, the people that stand with you and the people that stand for you and will stand up with you and that love and care about you, like, that's ultimately what matters, right? And so it doesn't matter if it's a clothing company, a music group, or just a person, like just you standing somewhere right. and standing up for what's right and seeing if anyone's going to stand with you, just stand for what you believe in. Like that in itself, it's so important. And it's not just to, you know, not just to get attention or get a like or, you know, like whatever right. that is, it's actually what you live by. And what right. sometimes gets lost is, what do you live for? What, 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 you know, what do you believe in, in life? You know, what if all the electronics and everything, electricity was shut off and you were just dealing with people on a humanistic level? Are you right, a douchebag? Right. Are you an asshole? Are you, you know, a messed up person? Or are you a stand-up person that people will say, hey man, I will roll this with these people because I feel right about it. You know what I mean? We mm -hmm. make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes, but what makes you feel right? This is what's right. That's why we're rolling with the heart. And this ain't going to be the only thing we do together, right? Oh. Other cats I, mean, I, right? I want to plan the next one for next year, actually. Yeah. Because it'll be our 20 year and then we'll do something even bigger. Right, right. So it's your 20 year and it's also our 25th anniversary for galleries, our, our first album. Wow. So it's, you know what I mean? It's an iconic year, yeah. and we're, we're having to call it Rich because he did the artwork for galleries, right? So we could, we could, like, here we are brainstorming about it, recorded, but I'm saying <laughs> that would yeah. be big. Like, we will think of something super, super, you know, super special for that. And um, 
hopefully uh, be able to plan a, some sort of nice, like a, we want to do a galleries event. That would be awesome. And have like rich one piece where like we could do a gallery, an audio gallery, and then do a show and then do like, you know, 20 years of yeah. information designs. and, and Yeah, hopefully and we can do it in Hawaii. Hopefully everything clears up to where it's safe. Cause I mean, I I just got COVID and I don't want I don't want anyone getting this stupid disease. Right. It's like I want everyone to be safe. I want I mean, politics or not, like I'm I'm happy I'm vaccinated and all that, but that at the end, I just whoever doesn't want the vaccination, whatever, it's up to you. Right. But just be safe. You know, that's I want everyone to be healthy and safe, and that's all I care about. Right. So when we do our event, let's do it in Hawaii and let's do one in Los Angeles. Let's do main, yeah. mainland island, right? Yeah. Island. Ooh, yeah. I E Y E land though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? For sure, yeah. Right. But no, dude, thank you so much, Todd. I mean, dude, this is once again. A long time coming, but we knew it was going to happen. Right. So it's just happening now, and, 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 and I appreciate you and, and, um, and the whole, you know. Eric, oh, like, speaking behind my crew, um, Brian, Jen, Keith, myself, and my staff, and everyone that was with us from back in the day, like, we all thank you guys for everything. And we're going to always be fans and supporters because you guys are like family to us. So it's, it's normal, you know, the it's for me, it's hard for me to spend money on things that I don't feel connected with, but like I'll forever, like, you know me, I don't ask for anything. Like I'm like, I forever just want to buy stuff that's information because for me, Thank it's you. like, I want to put my money towards things that, that I really like feel strongly about. Um, it's hard for me to wear, like, I'd rather wear just like blank tees than wear like half the mm -hmm. stuff that's out there. Um, Cause it really, it means a lot to me. Like the people that, that, that create the things. And, and so, you know, and yeah, I know it's it's never about like race and all that, but you guys are Japanese American dudes, just like me. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, seeing seeing uh seeing that that you guys are brothers just like me on that Japanese American level, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's just it makes me proud too on that level because it's like, you know, it's just one of those things where. We can be proud of our cultures, man. That's what it's all about. Because right. James is super Japanese American because he's been in my house and we talk <laughs> a lot about just, you know, lifestyle, right? And his kids are, are half Japanese American, right? So they're half the kids. So it's like, I'm saying we all have culture and be proud of who you are. Like, don't be afraid to tell people your culture and be proud of it. Because mm -hmm. I know so much about, you know, Filipino culture and took Filipino culture classes because mm -hmm. of my friends like Danu and, 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 and Rhett. And then, mm -hmm. you know, same with Mexican Americans and Chicanos, you know, like because of Alex and Zen being, you know, like we all have learned so much because we're proud of who we are. Like be proud of it, speak out on it. Like it's not wrong, man. Like we, we're not, you know, we have so much- We, are the, we are the minority generation and for me growing up with all this different ethnicities, it taught me not to be racist, you know? Because right. it doesn't matter, you know? Right. And it's like, that's how Hawaii is though. There's no racism in Hawaii. That's the know? most amazing thing about Hawaii, right? Like, look at, look at the, look at Pigeon and look at the, look at the names everyone has. It's like Portuguese and, and Chinese and Japanese mm -hmm. and Philippine, like it's just Hawaii is able to take in every person that lives there, Samoan, 
you know, any, yes. of course, Native Hawaiian, like every culture somehow integrates into it and symbiote it has, has like a, a, an ability to just morph, like it's just sociologically, like that's how the world, if the world could be Hawaii and have that mentality and, and, and have the aloha spirit, like, It'll, it'll be a lot different. That's, that's how, yeah, that's how it needs to be, right? Yeah. So, Cal, like, <clears throat> we grew up, the, you know, we're lucky enough to have that. And being in Gardena and Torrance, hey, man, how mm-hmm. my friends, parents were from Hawaii, right? <laughs> so, that's mm-hmm. why, you know, once again, man, it, we keep doing what we do and, 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 and trying our best and, and keep learning and, and growing together, man. And I appreciate this. and. You know, th- and thanks to everyone that that picks up any of our stuff, any information. Yeah, stuff. man. It rocks it with pride. You know what I mean? And lets people yeah. know what's up. Because once again, we're not out here. We're out here. It's word of mouth, right? Right. Do you know how many people? Like, honestly, do you know? Like, it's weird. Like, Facebook has like a lot of people from like back in the day for me, like childhood friends. Uh-huh. Like, I mean, do you know how excited they are? Like. You guys are doing some of the like wow. their minds are blown. They're like, my favorite shirt with a visionary logo as a dot for the eye. Are you kidding me? They're like losing their mind. Like childhood friends are like, oh my God, can I order this now? Like it's just on that. Holy crap. I'm like, maybe we didn't order enough shirts. We ordered a gang load of them. Might not be enough, Todd. I'm sorry, but once again, hey, we can always redo it if we need to. Different color, something. Yeah, but like I'm saying, I mean, it could be. Excited. This could. This is not the end. We're gonna do more things. Yeah, so. This is just the beginning. Yeah. At the 20 year mark. <laughs> yeah. Right on, brother. Thank you, Key. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're feeling better and give my love to the wife. And I will. I will. And go. Uh, yeah, I, know. I saw the dog up in there, real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the other one? You had two, right? Yeah, they. They're in the living room with the kids. My wife. Yeah. The kids. Yeah. <laughs> right on, brother. Well, yeah. Let's. Uh, we'll okay. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's reveal this to the world, man. Let's have fun with this. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, brother. I really appreciate everything. Dude, same here, brother. The chase, know our place in a world of anger with piles of waste. We're some do gooders with the filtration. We're Mexican, Islander, Euro, African, Asian. Celebrate creator before creation. Division, we're erasing.